Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the B-25 Mitchell. The North American B-25 Mitchell is an American twin engine medium bomber manufactured by North America Aviation NAA. The design was named in honor of Major General William Billy Mitchell, a pioneer of the US military aviation. It was used by many allied forces. The B-25 served in every theater of World War II and after the war ended, many remained in service, operating across four decades. Produced in numerous variants, nearly 10,000 Mitchells rolled from uh, NAA factories. These included a few limited models such as the United States Marine Corps uh, PBJ-1 patrol bomber and the United States Army Air Force's F-10 reconnaissance aircraft and AT-24 trainers. Uh, this uh, specific variant that we have right here is the B-25J, which was the last production model. About a little over 4,000 of these were produced, and they were basically a cross between the B-25D and the B-25H. Um, it had a the turret located more closer to the uh, flight deck with the pilots, and it also featured a um, transparent kind of glass uh, front uh, window for the bombardier, and also the waste gunners and everything like that. So it was like a cross hybrid between the two, and some of these were fitted to be... Uh, equipped with a 75 millimeter anti-vehicle uh, gun to use for uh, basically strafing attacks. However, the version we have right here is more focused on uh, that nice, uh, you know, transparent kind of window design. But there were plenty of B-25Js that were converted into ground attack aircraft. Um, anyways, going ahead and uh, taking a look. Well, actually, before we do that, I want to go ahead and give a big thanks to all you guys that voted in our poll. If you guys uh, don't already, I would recommend keeping the tabs on my uh, community um, tab on my channel. Um, I post a lot of little sneak peeks, previews of upcoming builds, and also sometimes every once in a while I'll post a poll for you guys to vote on for what vehicle you guys would like to see. By uh, popular demand, the B25 was uh, requested and won the vote, and uh, so we're going to be going ahead and uh, building that today. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the build. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with the way it came out, and I uh, hope you guys do enjoy it as well. So go ahead and get started. We have the front up here. Um, it's very interesting. Some looking at the uh, Wikipedia and stuff, it was saying it had two uh, guns mounted right here. However, it almost seemed like there was three. Uh, looking at pictures, so not sure what's going on there. Uh, but we have like the three possible machine guns located there. Uh, continuing on, we have the uh, basically the section up here for the front gunner uh, slash bombardier. Uh, then we have the cockpit right here so obviously pilot co-pilot a little cramped there you can't really fit too much this aircraft uh, is going to be very tight on interior space considering there's only one block of space in the inside um, so it's a little bit tight but uh, still you know there might be a little bit of room for stuff going on in there we have the side mounted gun pods um, so this thing has a ton of guns uh, that's for sure all facing toward the front uh, pretty deadly for ground attacks it's a twin engine bomber so it's got engines on both sides as you can see here and obviously they lead into the wings and um, wings themselves came out pretty nicely overall and we have the landing gear right there that's connected up and fold up into the engines of course we're doing the in-flight version you can see up above and also the um, you know obviously not in flight version the uh, landed version so we'll be doing both of those right here is the uh, the uh, top turret um, so this is Again, equipped with 250 cals, and with the uh, H and the J version, it's moved a little bit closer to the actual uh, cockpit compared to previous models, where it was more located toward the tail here. Uh, we also have a uh, some side uh, mounted waste gunners. So these are on both sides, and this one needs to have a little bit uh, needs to have one more end rod there for the barrel of the machine gun. But we got the waste gunners located on both sides. Uh, the U.S. kind of uh, Army star there. Uh, you know, not perfect with it, but uh, basically got to use your imagination a little bit to imagine it's there. Uh, the uh, cables that run from the front up here, just a little bit behind the cockpit, to the vertical stabilizers. Uh, the elevators, stabilizers all on the back here. And we also have the tail gunner located right back here. Again, a kind of a cramped space for it, um, but overall came up pretty nice. And that right there is pretty much the B-25. Uh, of course, we'll have the limited and the in-flight version, and um, it came out pretty good. So, hope you guys do enjoy this build. Definitely came out really good, and um, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, layer 1. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started and start working on our first layer. Now, our first layer, we'll be technically starting off with uh, layer 2, 
The reason we're doing this is just because it's going to be a little bit easier to just do layer one. Layer one is uh, very simple, I guess. Uh, so it's a lot easier just to build our second layer and come back to layer one um, to add on to layer two, basically. So uh, getting started with layer two, uh, we need to go ahead and obviously kind of figure out where we're going to be placing this. Now, if you are wanting to build the landed version, we'll be doing the in-flight version. We'll be adding the landed gear on as an attachment later on. So uh, we're going to be building the main body and you need to make sure that you have this the right amount off the ground if you are planning on building the landed version. So if you're building this the land, the, the building the landed version, layer two here is going to sit basically two blocks off the ground. You can see we have these top slabs here and everything like that. Um, so those are basically a slab of space and then there's two blocks of space um, before you are at the ground level. So again, uh, we have this stair right here. You can see it's two blocks of space here before we hit ground level which uh, is represented by the, the row of black wool. So make sure that you uh, uh, make sure you have this uh, off the right, the piece of the right height off the uh, ground to ensure that uh, you'll have plenty of room to put the landing gear on. Obviously, uh, you don't want this thing to be too high or too low because uh, then it's just not going to look right. Um, so that's how you want it uh, to be positioned. If you're building this in flight, um, you don't really have to worry about it uh, too much. You can just build it up in the air. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is we want to place down a stone brick top slab. Again, this is two and a half uh, basically spaces here or two and a half blocks off the ground. And we have a stone brick top slab. Turn off the stone brick top slab towards whatever, toward whatever direction you want the aircraft facing. So we're going to have the aircraft facing that track this way here. We're going to place down three iron trap doors coming off this stone brick top slab. On both sides of the stone brick top slab, we're going to place down an iron trap door. Again, this can be on both sides like so. Uh, we then want to go ahead and uh, go from the stone brick top slab. We're going to go ahead and go back one and two more stone brick top slabs, followed by an upside down stone brick stair. On the sides here of these two stone brick top slabs, we're going to place down two iron trap doors. And then on either side of the stone brick upside down stair here, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab on both sides. So you have a stone brick stair here in the middle and two stone brick stairs on both or uh, top slabs on both sides. We also want to go back up here to the front and on the left side of the aircraft, left side only, we're going to place down an end rod which is going to kind of come down uh, next to this iron trap door. So you're going to need to place down a block up above and place down a end rod like so. And this is only on the left side and on the right side. After you have that all finished there, we want to go ahead and go back from the stone brick stair. In the middle, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab. We then want to place down on the left side. Again, the left side only. We're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair with its back facing toward the rear. So you're going to have this little uh, gap here of space in between this uh, stone brick stair in the middle and this one on the side just like that that little space right there and coming off this stone brick top slab over here to the right side we're going to place down an air stone brick top slab like that so you have this row complete followed by an iron trap door on the side there after we have that done we're going to go from this this uh, stone brick stair here and this two stone brick top slabs we're going to place down a row of three of stone brick top slabs across followed by an iron trap door and we start to get our front shape start to take a little bit of a shape that looks something like that after that's done, we're going to place down a couple rows, or basically a good amount of rows of three here of Stonebrick top slabs. So we have one row of three. And again, this is after the row of three here of Stonebrick top slabs with the iron trap doors. So we have one row of three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, Stonebrick top slabs back. So you have nine rows of three here of Stonebrick top slabs. We go ahead and just double the count here. Double check the count. And yes, we have nine going back like that. After we have that done, coming off the middle stone brick top slab, we're going to place down two stone brick top slabs back, followed by two iron trap doors coming off those two stone brick top slabs. On the sides of these two stone brick top slabs, two iron trap doors, and also an iron trap door coming off this one on both sides like that. That's going to kind of do it for the main fuselage, or the main body of the aircraft. Let's go ahead and kind of do a little bit of the engines here. So, coming off uh, this row through this first row three here of stone brick top slabs, we want to go ahead and count a total of four blocks out to the side. So, one, two, three, and four. On your fifth block, or block space out from this uh, row three of stone brick top slabs on both sides, we're going to place down an iron trap door, followed by a second one back, and make sure that this is on the top portion of the block, not on the bottom uh, portion. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five stone brick top slabs going back, followed by two iron trap doors after that. So you get something that kind of looks like this from above. We can go and delete these placeholder blocks just like this to uh, remove them and whatever we do on the right side here you want to copy over to the left side obviously uh, looking at the bottom here as well it should be something like this and we have our ground level everything like that I'm going to remove these markers now hopefully uh, you built this correctly off the uh, the height off the ground if you were building this thing landed but that right there is going to do it for layer uh, two with that let's move down to layer one and then back on up to layer three
All right, guys, so going ahead, moving on to layer one. As I mentioned, layer one is a super simple layer, and it's just easier to build off of layer two than to just do layer one first. So basically, all we're doing here is just adding a few little things to the bottom here. So start off with, we're going to go to this stone brick stair here. Uh, we're going to place down a nether brick top slab on the bottom of the stair, followed by one more top slab that goes back like that. So you get something that looks like this from the side. We then want to go ahead and go to the left side here and on the bottom of this end rod and also on the bottom of this stone brick upside down stair we're going to place down two iron bars and we want to place down a row of iron bars in between them to connect them up like this that go across like that uh not exactly sure what the uh kind of cable here right across was meant for uh maybe for the radio or something like that but um that's what that is right there and that right there is going to do it for layer one as i mentioned pretty simple with that let's move on to our next layer layer three all right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer three. Layer three is where we're going to start to get into a lot more of the aircraft fuselage-wise and also start to get into the wings and engines. So a lot more stuff is going to be going on in this layer. To go ahead and get started, uh, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start by placing down a light gray stained glass block on top of this iron trap door. Kind of off the light gray stained glass block, we're going to then place down a light gray stained glass pane, like so. On both sides of this light gray stained glass block, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair. Followed by a wither skeleton skull coming off the, the uh, upside down um, stone brick stair facing toward the front. Save so stuff that looks just like this for the front uh, space. After that's done, going back from this uh, stone brick stair, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick corner stair. So uh, we'll need to kind of maneuver and place down a stone brick corner stair upside down like that. After that stone brick corner stair, we're going to take polished nanosite blocks. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Polish the inside blocks back. We're then going to place down a stone brick upside down stair facing that direction. Followed by a, another stone brick stair coming off of it to turn it into a corner stair. And then we're going to place down a stone brick corner stair coming off this stair uh, right here. So you have something that looks like that on the side here. On the inside in between the, um, or basically the spaces in between here, the uh, stone brick upside down stair and stone brick corner stair, we're to place down polished nanosite. And uh, we also want to place it down on top of these two iron trap doors just to cover up any little holes, spaces like that from the uh, outside. We then want to place down three stone brick top steps coming off the row here of uh, polished nanosite. So off this last block here, row three of stone brick top steps toward the rear like that. So you have something that looks just like that. After you have that done, we're going to go ahead and move up here uh, to the sides here. We have the gun pods we need to add on to. So for this, we're going to start off by placing down a stone brick upside down stair on top of this iron trap door. Just like that, we'll also need to grab ourselves a sign. We're going to place down a sign on the side here of this stone brick stair. We're then going to grab ourselves cobblestone walls. We're going to place down one and two cobblestone walls back and a sign on the first cobblestone wall, basically uh, right next to the stair. We also want to grab ourselves some skeleton skulls. We're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off this polished DSA block. And a skeleton skull also coming off this um, stone brick stair. Coming off the skeleton skull itself, we're going to place down a end rod. And that's going to do it there for your first um, gun pod here on both sides. After that's all done right there, we're going to grab ourselves iron trap doors. We're going to place down a row of one and two iron trap doors. Come off this polished dance block. So just to double check our count here, this is the 10th. Uh, Polish dance I block back from this corner stair. So if you just want to double check count, make sure you guys are accurate. But it's basically right next here to this gun pod and starts right after it. Um, so we then want to go and take our stone brick top stabs. We're gonna to go to the next two polished dance I blocks over. We're gonna place down two stone brick two or basically two rows of two here stone brick top stabs. And then after that, we're gonna place down a row of iron trap doors, row two behind those um, stone brick slabs. After that's all done, we're gonna place down a row of two of iron trap doors, come off those two stone brick top slabs, so you get something that kind of looks like this. From up above. After that's all finished, there we're gonna take our polished anti blocks. We're gonna place down one and two polished anti blocks on the side here. After we have that done, we're gonna place down one and two more back and one toward the front, like so. After that, we're gonna place down a stone brick stair, followed by a sign coming off the front there of the stair. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and after the stair, we're gonna place down a stone brick upside down stair, like this, and we're also gonna grab ourselves a birchwood stair and place down a birchwood upside down stair like that. Coming off the back of the uh, birchwood uh, upside down stair, we're gonna place down a birchwood slab. We then wanna follow that up by placing down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine polished anesite blocks back, followed by a stone brick upside down stair. So you should see here that your row of polished anesite ends on, or basically starts here on this iron trap door and ends on this one back here. We also wanna to go to the sides here, these uh, two polished anesite blocks here, we're gonna place down two cobblestone walls on the side there like that. We then want to basically copy this uh, row right here over to the air side. So we're going to place down a row of two of cobblestone walls. 
a row of one, two, three, four, and five polished andesite blocks, a stone brick stair like this with a sign on the front of it, and a stone brick upside down stair like that, followed by a birchwood upside down stair after that um, stone brick upside down stair. Once we have that all complete, that's going to kind of do it there for your start there for the engines, your first little bit of them, and that's going to do it for layer three. Obviously, what we do on the right side here, flip it over to the left side, and you guys will be good to go for layer three, and let's go ahead and move on to layer four. All right, guys, so real quick before we move on to layer four, I want to go ahead and make one quick adjustment. Uh, we actually want to go ahead and add a iron, or sorry, my bad, a end rod coming off this wither skeleton skull right here up on the front on the right side only, and again, only on the right side. So just start a uh, end rod coming off this wither skeleton skull like that. After we have that complete, we can now move on to layer four. So to start off with, we're gonna grab ourselves a polished dance block, place it down on top of this like gray stained glass pane like that, and coming off the polished dance block toward the front, we're gonna place down two end rods like that. After that's all finished there, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves like gray stained glass panes. We're going to place down one out to the side, followed by one more back like that. In between the like gray stained glass panes, we're going to place down a uh, like gray stained glass full block, followed by two more blocks back. So you have a nice row of three after the polished and side block. Again, go back to the sides after this um, this like gray stained glass pane, we're going to place down a polished and side block, followed by a stone brick top set. We then want to take our polished dance site. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and uh, for this section, actually, we're going to place down a total of, let me just double check the count here. We're going to place down a total of 13 polished dance site blocks back after this Stonebrook top set. Now, the weight scanner positions are kind of off um, sided from each other, and actually, this is going to go one more block back, so this is going to be 14 polished dance site blocks back. So they're kind of offset from each other. So this side, it's basically two blocks back. On this side, it's right here. And then there's two blocks of space right here. So just to kind of give you guys a general idea of what I'm talking about, um, let's go ahead and do the gun. Now, I just want to double check the correct positioning of this to make sure it's correct. And uh, you can see on this one, this ball right here, I kind of messed it up. I forgot to fix that. But basically, what we want to do for this, very simple. We're going to place down a light gray stained glass block right here, followed by a anvil with two end rods coming off of it. You can obviously put like some kind of like little back to the gun right here, but um, again, you can see the interior space is really uh, small. So you're going to do something like that. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and place down a light gray stainless paint, come off this um, polished or this uh, full light gray stainless full block. And on the opposite side, the left side, we're going to place down two polished stainless side blocks. Now on the left side, we're going to place down the same thing we kind of did there. So a light gray stainless full block, a light gray stainless uh, paint. An anvil and two end rods coming off of it like that and this can be over here on the left side over here on the right side we're gonna place down two polished dance side blocks so you get something that kind of looks like that you want your guns to be off centered um, as it actually was because there wasn't enough space to have them basically right with each other in line so make sure you make that quick adjustment and or make that a uh, right there and pay attention to both sides and how they look anyways after that on both sides we're gonna place down a polished dance side block which should be on top of this upside down corner stair on both sides we then want to grab ourselves blue wool we're going to place down two, uh, basically, um, yeah, uh, we're going to place down two blue wool blocks after this polished andesite block, followed by one more polished andesite block back. Um, after that polished andesite block, we're going to place down a row of four here of cobblestone walls on both sides, and in between the cobblestone walls, we're going to place down a row of four of polished andesite blocks just to fill the space in like so. After that row of four of polished andesite blocks, we're going to place down a row of two of stone brick top subs, coming off the rear there, so you get something that kind of looks like that from the back there, kind of smooths it out like so. After that's all uh, finished there, it's time to go ahead and move on to the wings themselves. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our, uh, sorry, well, actually we're going to move to the gun pods. We'll move to the wings in a sec. So, the gun pods, we're just going to copy exactly what we did on this bottom section here, just up one more uh, layer. So, we're going to place down the stone brick upside down stair, the skeleton skull, the end rod coming off of it, um, also the sign off the front of the stair. We're also going to place down two cobblestone walls back, sign off the first cobblestone wall, and we're also going to place down a skeleton skull, just like that, uh, next to the cobblestone wall. So you get something that kind of looks like this overall um, for your gun pods there on both sides. Now, after that's all finished there, it's time to go ahead and move on to the wings. So to get started, we're going to go to this iron trap door here. We're going to place down a nether brick um, stair like that. Uh, uh, behind the nether brick stair, we're then going to place down a row of one, two, and three polished ASA blocks, a stone brick stair after that. And then we're going to place down a stone slab after that. So you can kind of see there the start of the um, flaps here and um, all that kind of stuff going on. So continue now, we're going to then place down a nether brick corner stair. Coming off this stair right here behind that corner stair, we're going to place down one, two, three polished andesite blocks. And again, a stone brick stair with a 
uh, stone slab on the end there. Continuing on, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a black wool block. We're going to place down a black wool block like this, come off the narrow brick stair. Narrow brick core stair, I should say, sorry. And then we're going to place down one, two, and three polished andesite blocks back, followed by two stone top slabs this time. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and get into the engine bit. So we're going to go ahead and kind of expand upon the engine that we've already kind of started. So uh, for this, we're going to go ahead and place down a wooden trap door opened up on top of this uh, birchwood upstairs on stair. And we're going to place down a sign here on the side of that um, wooden trap door like that. After the wooden trap door, we're going to place down a polished andesite block back, followed by a second one. On your second polished andesite block, we're going to place down a skeleton skull along the side there like that. Uh, we then want to take our polished dance set blocks. We're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five, and uh, five blocks back. So you have a nice row of seven here of polished data site. We're then going to place down a cobblestone wall, followed by a skeleton skull at a slight angle, uh, probably about maybe 30 degrees, a little bit of an angle, kind of like that. For our next row over, we're going to place down a stone brick slab on top of this stone brick uh, upside down stair, followed by a stone brick stair after the stone brick slab. We're then going to grab our polished dance site uh, next to the cobblestone wall, place down a polished dance site block, and we're just going to go ahead and fill the space in, kind of going toward the front here. So, for this, we're going to place down, we have one polished dance site block, two, three, four, five, six, and seven polished dance site blocks going back from that stair. We then want to grab ourselves black wool, we're going to place down a black wool block after that row of polished dance site, followed by a anvil on both sides, and then a polished dance site block that comes off the anvil, and a skeleton skull that comes off of um, the anvil like that. Um, after that's all done right there, we're going to go ahead and continue on, move on to our next layer out. It's going to be basically a replication of this row right here. So again, we're going to start off up here in the front. We're going to place down a wooden trap door like this on both sides, a sign, go back from it. We're going to place down one, two uh, polished andesite blocks, skeleton skull off the second. We're then going to place down one, two, three, four, five polished andesite blocks back, a cobblestone wall, both sides and a skeleton skull at a slight angle going back like that after that's all finished there we want to go ahead and go to the sides here so basically this polished dance set block after the skeleton skull there we're going to place down a snow brick top slab followed by one and two after it and we're also going to go ahead and place down two iron trap doors um, after those stone brick top slabs after that's all finished there we're going to go ahead and grab our iron trap doors come off the snow brick top slabs we're going to place down one two three and we're also going to place down a four foot back like that that comes off that iron trap door like that going to get you now we're going to place down another row four of iron trap doors across after that we're going to place down a row of three so it's going toward the front here having a little bit of into on the back we're going to place down a row of three and we're in total we're going to have uh basically four of these rows of three so we have one we're going to place down two three and four so we have four rows of three of iron trap doors like that along the sides there once you guys have that done, that's going to do it for uh, layer four. And with that, let's move on to our next section, which is going to be actually putting the propellers on. And um, then we'll move on to layer five. So with that, let's move on to the propellers. Alrighty, guys. So moving on to the propellers, the design themselves is actually really simple uh, to do. And it's something I've been using for a lot of my propellers that have uh, basically only three uh, blades to it. So very simple. We're going to go ahead and start off by going to this polished nanosite block. We want to go ahead and place down a row of one and two. Uh, another brick top steps come off the polished dance block toward the outside of course you can have this facing toward the inside as well but i just prefer to have it to the outside followed by a stone uh, sandstone top step on the end there like that after you have that done we're going to go off at an angle from this uh, polished dance block so we're going to go ahead and place down another brick stair like this come off the another brick stair we're going to go ahead and go up at an angle again place down another another brick stair going up like that and come off the stair up on the top here and again at an angle we're going to place down a sandstone uh, slab just like that. So you have something that kind of looks like this for it. For the uh, bottom blade, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down another brick stair on the bottom of the polished dance block with its back facing toward the aircraft. We're going to go ahead and go down from this uh, stair right here. We're going to place down a um, another brick stair that kind of comes down like that. So the, the uh, tops of the stairs kind of touch like that or basically at an angle. And we also want to go ahead and go to the bottom of this another brick stair here and place down a sandstone um, upside down stair like that. And you get something that kind of looks like that for the propellers, and you're going to go ahead and do the same thing over here on this side. So, you're, again, you're going to have your nether brick stairs going off at an angle like this, followed by a sandstone slab that comes off the stairs, again, at that kind of angle they're going at. So, like that. And then on the bottom here, a nether brick stair on the bottom, followed by a nether brick stair like that coming down at an angle, and an upside down sandstone stair, 
on the very bottom like that to do it for your propellers. So you get something that kind of looks like that. And once you guys have that all finished there for the propellers, we can now move on to our next layer, layer five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer five. For layer five, we're going to start off by going up to the front nose again. We're going to place down an air brick slab on top of this polished anisite block. We then want to go to the head and go into the sides here on top of these light gray stained glass paints. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull up both sides like this, probably about at a 45-ish degree angle, and make sure they're just the same there on both sides. After the narrow brick slab, we're going to place down a row of three of polished, or sorry, my bad, of light gray stained glass full blocks of glass, and then we also want to go ahead and go to the sides. We're going to place down two light gray stained glass panes, which are going to be along the first two. Uh, like racing west full blocks and then next to the last the third like racing west block we're going to place down and they like racing west block on both sides going back from the like racing west blocks we're going to place down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen polished anisite blocks back if you're on the left side you're going to go ahead and go 16 blocks back again we have the gun, gun positions right in here so we need to go ahead and expand upon those we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two like ray stained glass on top of the um, anvil and also this like racing west block and we're also going to place down two like racing west panes coming off of it on the we're on the right side here so again we're going to place down two polished anisite blocks back after that over here on the left side we have a row of 16 polished anisite blocks back from that like racing west block up there we have our gunner position again here again offset from this one we have a row of two like racing west panes come off these like two like racing west full blocks after that on both sides we're going to place down a polished anisite block uh we then uh, want to go ahead and place down a uh, row of two of blue wool on both sides followed by one two and three polished anisite blocks that go back on top of those cobblestone walls now in between the blue wool blocks we're going to place down a row of two of polished anisite and also between these three uh, polished anisite blocks we're also going to place down a row of three of polished anisite in between like that to fill that space in um, once we have that all done, come off the rows of three of polished anisite on both sides. Uh, we're going to place down a row of four of cobblestone walls back. And then in the center, in between these cobblestone walls here, we're going to fill the space in by placing down a row of, three, a row of four sorry, of polished anisite between the four cobblestone walls. On the ends here, uh, come off the cobblestone walls, we're going to place down two end rods, which will be part of our back gunner position. And we then want to go ahead and uh, basically build our start here of our vertical stabilizers. So for this, we're going to go ahead and just take some blocks, and it can be any kind of color, uh, some placeholder blocks, and we're going to go ahead and want to build off uh, five blocks from this first cobblestone wall right here in this row of four. So we're going to go ahead and basically go one, two, three, four, and five blocks off, uh, technically our sixth block off, uh, but then we then want to go ahead and place down a stone brick upside down stair, six, basically on the sixth block away from the cobblestone wall, you have a space of five in between the cobblestone wall and the stone brick upside down stair. After the uh, stone brick upside down stair, we're going to place down a polished anisite block after it, followed by another stone brick upside down stair behind it. Uh, go ahead and look at it from the side there. It should look something like this, and we can delete those placeholder blocks, and we have the start there of our vertical stabilizers on both sides. Moving back up to the engines uh, and the wings, uh, we're going to go ahead and basically work a lot on this. Basically, almost finish the wings off. They'll pretty much be almost done uh, when we're done with them, so let's go ahead and uh, start working on them. So... To start off with, we're going to go ahead and take stone brick slabs. We're going to go ahead and go to these two polished ASA blocks. They're basically the two polished ASA blocks back from this um, narrow brick stair here from the previous layer. We're going to place down two stone brick slabs on top of them, followed by another two over to the side. We then want to place down a row of two of uh, stone brick stairs, followed by another brick slab on top of that um, black wool block like that up here toward the front. After these two stone brick stairs, we're going to place down a stone brick slab like that going back. Continuing over to the side again, after this uh, nether brick uh, slab there, we're going to place down a nether brick stair. Going toward the front, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair like this, with a sign coming off the side here, and a nether stone brick uh, stair after it like so. We then want to place down a nether brick stair on the inside here, on this uh, next to this stone brick stair like that. Going back here on this section, we're going to go and take our polished anisite blocks and place down two polished anisite blocks back, followed by a stone brick slab, and... Uh, we're also going to place down a skeleton skull, which is going to be at probably about a 30-ish degree angle. Um, let's see if I can get angled a little bit better. So something kind of like that. Um, after we have that all done, we're going to go ahead and go up here to the front again. We're going to place down a brick top stab, come off the back of that brick stair. We're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Or sorry, just uh, 6. Or sorry, just, yeah, 5 polished hands that blocks back. A stone brick stair. And a stone brick half step coming off the front of the stone brick stair. 
Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and continue. We're working our way to the outside. We're going to place down a birchwood stair on top of this wooden trap door right here on the front here of the engine. We're then going to place down a stone brick stair after it. Stone brick up down stair again like this with a sign on the side of it. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and place down a polished ASI block. After that, it's just a stone brick up down stairs. We're going to place down one, two, and three polished ASI blocks back along the side here. Followed by a stone brick corner stair um, like so. And after that stone brick corner stair, we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a skeleton skull and place down a skeleton skull again at about a 30 degree angle. So you have something that kind of looks like that shaping wise for the engine. After that's all finished uh, there, we then want to go ahead and continue on toward the outsides here. So to start off, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves black wool. We're going to place down a black wool block coming off this uh, polished ASI block on top of this stone brick top slab here. We're going to place down a row of one, two, and three polished ASI blocks back, followed by a um, stone slab here for the um, flaps again. Uh, continuing on, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab coming off the side here of this black wool block. Followed by one, two, and three polished downside blocks back, or actually, sorry, my bad, two polished downside blocks back, and a stone brick stair facing that direction, like so. And again, a stone slab, or st yeah, stone slab coming off that stone brick stair. Continuing on, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves black wool again, place it down next to this uh, stone brick top slab. We're gonna go ahead and place down a row of two of polished downside going back, followed by a stone brick stair right next to this stair, like so. So we turn this stair right here into a corner stair. And we have our normal stair on top of that uh, iron trap door. And we're going to place down a stone slab coming off the stone brick stair. Just like that for again our flaps. Uh, continuing on, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves black wool again. We're going to place down a black wool block here on the front. Followed by two polished downside blocks back. We're going to place down a stone brick slab, half slab. And again a stone slab block like that on the right side. Uh, continuing on, we're going to go ahead and place down a... Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and actually, yeah, we're going to go ahead and actually, my bad, <laughs> get a little ahead of myself there. We're going to place down a black wool block. So again, we have that row of three of black wool. Uh, we're also going to grab ourselves a skeleton skull. And we're going to place down a skeleton skull, come off the black wool block toward the front. Uh, behind the black wool block, we're going to take our polished anisite, place down two polished anisite blocks back, followed by a uh, stone slab block like that. Continuing on, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of polished anisite right here. Followed by a stone brick stair facing this direction and a stone slab uh, after that stone brick stair. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a sign. We're going to place it down uh, over this polished nanosite block. And we will need to go ahead and go into our inventory and we're going to need to grab ourselves a glass block and also a item frame. We're going to place down an item frame on the side here of this polished nanosite block and also a glass block in it. Just like that to go ahead and um, finish that off right there. We're basically create the little uh, these little lights. Um, on both sides there, which fit will actually go into place, which looks something just like that. So uh, those are like the little lights on the wings. So once we have uh, that done, we're gonna go and continue on. We're gonna place down a nether brick stair now. Next is polished anisite block, so a nether brick stair right here. Uh, behind the nether brick stair, we're gonna place down a polished anisite block, followed by a stone brick stair again. Come off this uh, this stair right here. So we have a crevice corner stair, and then we have a regular stair here. And coming off that. Uh, stair we're actually going to place down a cobblestone wall so this is starting to get to our aerons um or aerons or something like that <laughs> forget that actually how to pronounce it necessarily but uh you guys probably get an idea of what i'm trying to say so ailerons or something like that for the kind of edge uh looking flap so after uh we have that section done there we're gonna go and place down another brick corner stair come off this stair right here polished and block behind it Corner stair of stone brick coming off this stair right here, and also again a cobblestone slab like that. After we have that all done, we're going to place down a nether brick slab next to this um, nether brick corner stair. We're going to place down two stone brick slabs back. So one and two stone brick slabs back, and a uh, um, yeah, another cobblestone slab on the back here like that. We then want to place down a nether brick slab back or continuing out to the side here stone brick slab back and a cobblestone slab we're gonna go ahead and repeat that process two more times so we've basically uh basically three rows of three of this so nether brick slab cobblestone or stone brick uh slab cobblestone slab nether brick slab stone brick slab and cobblestone slab again you have a row basically three rows of three of these right here after we have that all done come off the side here come off the stone brick slab we're gonna place down another stone brick slab followed by a skeleton skull right here come off the cobblestone slab and a wither skeleton skull coming off the nether brick slab 
So that right there is probably our most complicated layer. We got a lot done and the wings are pretty much complete. We do have a little bit of stuff we're going to add on to them in the uh, next layer, but nothing too drastic. And that's going to pretty much do it for your wings overall. Anyways, uh, that's it for layer five, our most difficult layer. It's going to get easier from here. Let's move on to layer six. Alrighty guys, moving on to our next layer. We go ahead and moving on to layer six. For layer six, we're going to go ahead and start off by again, going up to the front here. We're going to go ahead and go to the third light gray stained glass block in this row three right here. We're going to place down another brick slab on top of it, followed by another brick slab after that one. So you have a row two here, followed by a black carpet on these two polished anisite blocks on the near side of the uh, second another brick slab back. After that second another brick slab, we're going to place down a light gray stained glass full block, followed by a light gray stained glass pane on both sides. And a row of one, two, and three, like gray stained glass full blocks back uh, from that pane like that on both sides. After that's done right there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves uh, polished anisite blocks. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine polished anisite blocks along the side here going back. We're also going to grab ourselves a skeleton skull, place down a skeleton skull on both sides here, come out those polished anisite blocks uh, after these windows here. After that's all finished here, uh, we should end up basically right here next to our first kind of waste gunner position. We're going to go ahead and place down a row three of polished anisite across, followed by a second row three back, and a third row like this. We then want to place down a uh, row down, going down the center here of polished anisite. So we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five polished anisite blocks going down the center. We're going to place down a corner stair on the side here. Uh, or it's basically a stair like this stone brick an air stair coming off of it So you turn the stair into a corner stair We have one regular stair two three and then a stone brick corner stair after that like that We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some skeleton skulls We're going to go ahead and place down skeleton skulls on top of the glass panes here on the sides here So we're going to turn them at about 30 degree angles like that kind of touch kind of like, you know Flowing toward each other like this and it's gonna be the same thing on both sides here on top of these glass panes to kind of complete the uh, Look of the waste cutters there and everything like that after that's done, coming back here to this section, uh, after the polished anisite and the stone brick corner stairs, we're going to place down a row of three of stone brick stairs across, followed by a stone brick stair that's going to have its back facing toward the rear, and then a stone brick slab on both sides. Coming back from this stone brick stair, we're going to place down a polished anisite block. We're then going to place down a stone brick stair on both sides of the polished anisite block. Come off the polished anisite block, we're going to place down two light gray stained glass uh, full blocks going back, followed by an iron trap door on the very end. And we're also going to go and just take some light gray stained glass paints and place down two light gray stained glass paints on the sides here of these um, light gray stained glass full blocks for the start there of your tail gunner <coughs> position. Uh, once that's all finished there, uh, we're going to work on our stabilizers and also our elevators. So for this, we're going to place down two narrow bricks uh, slab or slabs coming off these uh, the stone brick slab right, slab right here. I keep saying slab for some reason. Um, after that, we're going to go and place down a row two of stone brick slabs coming off of the two narrow brick slabs come off these two stone brick slabs again out to the sides here we're going to place down a row three of one two and three of nether brick slabs out to the side we then want to grab ourselves some iron trap doors we're going to place down a row of one two three four and five iron trap doors come off those stone brick slabs and nether brick slabs and then we want to go and go uh, to the next row over we're going to place down one two three and four so we have a little bit of an indent here on the ends um, after that's all complete, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a black wool block. We're going to place it down top of the stone brick upside down stair. We're also going to place down a polished anisite block on top of the polished anisite block here. And we're going to grab ourselves a stone slab block and place down a stone slab block on top of the um, uh, stone brick stair. We're going to place down a uh, sign here on both sides of the stone slab block. And we also want to grab ourselves a stone button and place a stone button here on the side of this polished anisite block like so. After that's all done right there, the last thing we're going to be doing for this layer is we're going to go ahead and go back up here to the engines. We're going to place down a row of one and two stone brick slabs. So on these, the second and third polished anisite block here from this one right here. So um, two stone brick slabs back, followed by one and two iron trap doors like that to go ahead and finish the shaping there for the um, engines. And uh, once that's all done right there, that is going to uh, do it for layer six. With that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer layer seven. Alrighty guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer seven. So for layer seven, uh, before we go ahead and real quick and move on to it, we do want to make one quick adjust, adjust, adjustment, or basically I should say an addition. From the previous layer, we're going to place down a narrow brick fence post on the second light gray stained glass pane here on the right side, right side only. So a narrow brick fence post that goes up like that. On top of the narrow brick fence post, we're going to place down an iron trap door and a second iron trap door that goes back like that on it. 
and this right here is only on the right side and again the right side only after that's all finished we're gonna go ahead and then place down a nether brick slab on top of this light gray or this empty space right here so after light gray stain goes full block we're gonna place down a nether brick slab come on back on top of this open space here followed by a second nether brick slab back and then two stone brick slabs after it uh just like that after that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a Wither Skeleton Skull. We're placed down a Wither Skeleton Skull on these two uh, like Stingless full blocks on both sides there at about 45 degree angles. Uh, we're also going to grab ourselves Nerebrick Slabs. We're going to place down a row of three of Nerebrick Slabs to go across. We're then going to place down a row of uh, four. Or sorry, my bad. A row of three here, Stone Brick Slab. Or Stone Brick Slabs, yeah. And then we're going to place down a narrow row of uh, three here, Stone Brick Slabs going back. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and get to our first uh, tail, or basically our turret right here. So we're going to place down a polished nanosite block here in the middle, followed by a light gray stained glass paint on both sides. We're then going to place down a light gray stained glass block on both sides. Uh, a cobblestone wall on both sides with a sign on the side of that cobblestone wall. And then we're going to place down two end rods going back like so. And uh, we do have to kind of have the end rods kind of like, you know, placed in with the pull of the uh, plane but it's uh, something that just had to be had to do to make it work so that's why it looks like that um, in between these end rods we're gonna place down two stone brick slabs in the middle uh, come off the ends here of the end rods we're gonna place down a stone brick stair on both sides with a stone brick slab here in the middle after that uh, going toward along the middle here after the stone brick slab in between the stone brick stairs we're gonna place down a row of three or sorry row of four stone brick slabs going back and then going to the sides we're gonna place down two stone brick slabs on the back of the stairs and two iron trap doors after those um, <clears throat> after those uh, stairs just like that next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and go all the way back here to the turret uh, we're gonna place down a iron trap door on top of this polished anesthetic block another brick slab on top of the first uh, light gray stained glass block and a wither skeleton skull on top of the second light gray stained glass block just like that to go ahead and finish off your tail gun position like so after that's all complete there, we're going to place down a black wool block on top of this one over here on the vertical stabilizers, followed by a polished anesthetic block on both sides, and we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone slab block and place it down like that on top of the stone slab block on the previous layer. Just like we did before, we're going to place down a sign here on both sides of the stone slab full block, and we're also going to place down stone buttons on both sides of this polished anesthetic block like so. After that's all complete there, that's going to do it for layer 7. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer 8. Alright guys, so going ahead and move it on to our next layer, we have layer 8. So for layer 8, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to our turret right here. We're going to place down a stone brick slab on top of this polished anesthetic block. Come off the stone brick slab, we're going to place down another brick slab like so. And that's going to do it there for your uh, turret right there on the top. After that's all done, we're going to go ahead and go back here to our vertical stabilizers. We're going to go ahead and place down a polished anesthetic block on top of this one right here followed by a cobblestone wall on top of the black wool block and again a stone slab block on top of this one right here on the rear we're going to go in again like we've been doing place down signs on both sides of this uh stone slab uh full block and we're also going to place down stone buttons on both sides here of the polished anesthetic blocks just like that that right there is going to do it for layer eight with that let's move on to our last final layers here which are going to be basically layers 10 and 11 and uh with that will be pretty much good in finishing off the uh fuselage but despite a few little things here and there Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers, 9 and 10. Alright guys, so moving on to our last final layers, it's pretty simple. We're just going to be going ahead and basically building on the uh, vertical stabilizers and pretty much finish them off. So, to start off with, we're going to place down two more cobblestone walls on top of this one right here. We then want to place down two polished anesthetic blocks going up, and then we're going to place down a stone slab block going up. On top of the stone slab block, we're going to place down a stone brick slab like so. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone button here on either side of this first polished anesthetic block. And we're also going to place down a sign here on both sides of the stone uh, slab full block. Just like that. And it's the same thing over here. The cobblestone walls going up. Uh, two polished anesthetic blocks. Stone slab. So brick slab. Our signs. Stone buttons. Signs. And stone buttons. So once you get something that looks just like that. You have your vertical stabilizers done. And the rudder and all that. And uh, that's going to pretty much do it for that we do have one section where we need to add which is these cables running from this uh basically the back of the cockpit here to the um outside tail uh so with that let's go ahead and put those cables on and we'll pretty much be done with the in-flight version of the b25 j mitchell 
Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and move on to putting the cables running from the cockpit to the tail. Um, so for these, uh, you can see I already basically outlined the general shape of iron bars with uh, some wool. So let's go and get started. Now we're going to start off by placing down a iron bar on top of this skeleton skull. We're then going to place down a iron bar after it that goes back like so to leave a row of two. We then want to go ahead and go out to the side and add an angle. We're going to place down one iron bar out here, uh, just like that, out to the side. We then want to go ahead and go up and go back place down a row three here of iron bars after that we're going to go ahead and go over to the side at an angle place down another row three of iron bars after that we're going to go ahead and go up and at an angle again going toward the back here we're going to place down a row of four of iron bars going back we're going to go, ahead and go over at an angle place down a row of two of iron bars after that we're going to go ahead and go up <clears throat> and uh, basically just go up at an angle like this place down a row two of iron bars again and we're gonna do the same thing right here basically kind of go over to the side place down a row two of iron bars like that to connect up so it should look something that kind of looks like that along the side there and you're just gonna want to go ahead and do the same thing over here on this side uh, real quickly we have an easy way of doing it with rolled edit we can just go ahead and do a nice uh, slash slash line iron bars <clears throat> over to the other side and we have um, a line that runs for the other side. You'll notice sometimes though, however, that they do kind of get a little weird. Sometimes the line will be a little bit off. So just adjust it to uh, whatever side there. And you just want to make sure that both lines are the same and run back to the same place. And once you have that all done, that's going to do it kind of for the airborne version of the B-25 Mitchell. And uh, you guys are pretty much good to go. If you guys are building this thing landed, we're going to be going ahead and covering how to put the landing gear extensions onto the aircraft um, right after this. So, uh, other than that, let's go ahead and uh, move on to putting the landing gear on this aircraft and we'll pretty much uh, finish this off and be pretty much good to go. So with that, let's move on to the landing gear. All right, guys, so moving on to the landing gear. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and work on the front uh, wheel and then we'll move on to the back, the ones that are on the engine. So for the front wheel itself, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the bottom here. We're going to go ahead and go to the third iron trap door back. So you have this nice row here. We're going to go to the third iron trap door back. We're going to break this iron trap door. We then want to go ahead and break uh, the uh, stone brick tops up here. So we're going to break uh, one, two, and three of those stone brick top steps out of the way. and should end right after, right before this uh, stone brick stair. On the inside here, we will need to fill this in a little bit. So we're going to place down a polished inside block on top of the stone brick stair. Over here on this side, I went ahead and chose to place down a stone brick uh, slab and another one after it just to make sure that we have a little bit more space here for the bombardier section. And when you're looking at it from the outside here, you can actually see there's, see there's a little bit of space in there. So, uh, stone brick slabs right on there. Um, after we have that done, we're going to place down your stone brick upside down stair here, followed by two stone brick top slabs to kind of fill in the wheel well, um, like that. Once we have that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair that is coming down from this stone brick uh, slab right there. So, just like this, in line here with the end rod coming down here, like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a cobblestone wall on the bottom of the stair, followed by a uh, block of coal on the bottom of the cobblestone wall now on the left side we're to place down a stone button on the block of coal over here on the right side we're to place down a lever uh coming off the cobblestone wall on the right side we're going to place down a skeleton skull like this and we also want to go ahead and go to the back of this stone brick stair here we're to place down a lever that goes back like so for that as well and that's going to kind of do it for this side for the uh front wheel we do also want to make sure that we show the panel that kind of opens up here that allows the like to or the wheel to unfold and for this very simply we're going to break uh these three iron trap doors here so one two and three and we're going to place down a row of one two three and four cobblestone walls on the side there to kind of show that panel that opens up for the uh leg to deploy over here on the left side you can see we didn't touch anything this is all um kind of happening over here on the right side like that so you get something that kind of looks like that for the uh front wheel um like that and uh with that let's go ahead and move on to the back wheels Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to putting the uh, side, uh, or basically the rear landing gear, I should say, basically the ones that come from the engines. Uh, so for these, we're going to go ahead and of course need to break some blocks to make some space for it. So to get started here, we're going to go ahead and go to this uh, row 5 here of uh, stone brick slabs. We're be breaking a good portion of this uh, completely out. So what we need to do is we need to first start off breaking this uh, iron trap door right here. So we just have one up in the front. We're going to break this iron trap door and we're going to go ahead and break this polished anti block so we have a nice hole right in there we're gonna break this stone brick top sub this polished anti block this stone brick top sub 
polished anti-site block. Stonebrook tops have a polished anti-site block. So you have a nice row of four here. Uh, basically a space cut out right here. What we then want to do is we then want to go ahead and go from this, to this polished anti-site block here. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall underneath it. Fall by we're going to break that polished anti-site block and then replace it with an anvil like so. Going down from the, the cobblestone wall here. We're going to go ahead and place down a, another anvil. So if I can get the, the uh, right thing here. Uh, we will actually need to place down a stone brick top slab before it. So we're going to place down a stone brick top slab kind of under the cobblestone wall, leaving a block of space. And then an anvil in that space like that to go ahead and kind of create the leg there for the gear. Um, after that's all done, we're then going to go ahead and place down a uh, stone brick, or sorry, another brick upstone stair coming off this uh, stone brick top slab. And a, another brick stair on top of it. And then two narrow brick up, uh, stairs coming off like that to create the shape there for the wheel. And my bad, this is actually supposed to be the opposite way. It's actually supposed to go toward the back. So let me fix that real quick. Uh, so we're going to kind of move it back here. One, so we have uh, those two narrow brick stairs and the narrow brick stairs behind it. So if something kind of looks like that, it looks a little bit better. Uh, we then also want to go ahead and place down a um, stone brick top slab coming off this cobblestone wall and one stone brick uh, top slab coming off. So we have stone brick half slab, top slab like that to kind of connect there, there and create a little bit more of a support there for the leg. Now on the outside section here, we're going to need to place the little bit of the, the pan paneling that would open up to expose the gear. Uh, so for this, we're going to take a stone brick stair, place it down, coming off the cobblestone wall here, followed by one, two, and three stone brick stairs running along the side there, just like this. And also on the bottom of these stairs, we're going to place down a row of three there, or sorry, row four there of uh, stone brick top steps. So we have a row four of stone brick stairs here covering that empty space or that would cover the empty space closing and we have a row of stone brick top saps after it underneath it and uh, that's going to kind of do it for the wheel right there and everything like that you're going to take that same design flip it over to the air side and you'll have your landing gear done for both sides there anyways that guy is right there is going to do it for the tutorial for the b25j mitchell again thank you to everybody that voted in the poll for it it was a highly requested vehicle and i'm uh, pretty happy at one because a lot of you guys were wanting it so you guys have finally got your uh request for the uh, b25 so hopefully you guys all enjoy it again uh make sure you guys are paying close attention to my community tab i like to post these little polls every once in a while to uh you know engage you guys a little bit and get you guys a vehicle that you guys want out as a tutorial and everything like that so uh be sure to check it out and uh stay up to date uh enable posts and all that stuff to be in your subscription feeds because uh i do post uh, some good stuff on there sometimes so anyways um that's going to pretty much do it for this tutorial. If you guys do not use this design, I do ask you guys to give me proper credit for it. This is the main thing from a silent build tweet to my channel or this video. If this does appear in any social media sites, just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting this type of content. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. And that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett24, and I'll see you guys next time.